Today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D printed QR code. First, you need to generate the QR code from a from an online uh, QR code generator website. Okay, and my preference is go to the um, I prefer QR code monkey. So let's go to the website. QRCodeMonkey.com <clears throat> You need to generate your QR code in SVG file format. Alright, uh, I'll do a simple one. I use my email. Okay, and uh, I need to click on create QR code. And save as SVG file. You can use other websites that can uh, save it as SVG file format. Okay, uh, there are other websites, but I prefer this one for some reason. Okay, it's saved. So the next thing I do, need to do is uh, open up uh, my Blender. Okay, I've already opened up here. Now, um, let's remove all these camera lighting and uh, boxes. That, you know, when you open up the Blender, you get all these uh, objects. Okay, let's try to import in the QR code that I've saved. Now, uh, if you don't get as this uh, file import uh, format function, you need to update your Blender. Okay, let's try to import. Okay, I save as QR code to SVG. Import. Now what you get is a very small object, so you need to enlarge it. So I'll just select. Scale it to workable size. Okay. Okay. I just let me just work into an angle that I that I can work with. Okay. This is the the best angle I can work with. Okay. Now let's let me just explain a bit. Uh, what happened here? Now, when you import the SVG file into Blender, you notice that you create a lot of curves. Okay. Uh, we're going to join all this. If you if you want, you can delete it. Now, because it had created so many curves, we need to join them together. So we join all the curves to curve dot zero zero one. So I select curve dot zero one. And I select all. Then under the object, select join. You notice that all of this curve will join to curve dot zero zero one. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, you can notice it's all joined there as one object. Now the next thing is that <coughs> because we need to extrude the faces, <coughs> we need to um, convert this into a mesh. Okay, let me just try to enlarge this. Move this up, object, under object menu, there's a convert mesh from curve. There you go. See, you notice that it has changed to mesh. Now what we need to do next is that um, we need to extrude the faces. Okay, so we just click on edit. Select all the faces. Oops, sorry. <coughs> Once you 
select the faces under the edit mode okay in the mesh tools it, there's an extrude function extrude region and then you move your cursor up and there you go your 3d your 2d image become a 3d image 3d object so the next thing is that uh, well, this is optional uh, because it's a bit hard to see so what I'll do is I will change it back to object this is black I just add some diffuser under the material change this there you go now you get a 3d model of your QR code now to really print this you need to have a platform underneath okay, so I use back the uh, cube that comes with the um, blender when it start first started okay just move this into middle scale it create a platform okay, just a simple platform like this oops okay Okay, let's do some alignment to it. Okay, uh, X, Y, and Z center. Okay, align under object. Transform. Align objects. Y. And then align objects again on the X. There. There you go. Now we are ready to print. Okay. Select both the platform and your QR code and then go to file and export as STL. That's it. Thanks for watching. Oh, the other thing is that um, you have to, uh, for some 3D printer software, you, you cannot calculate the surface, so you may need to um, convert the QR code or invert uh, or, or calculate these uh, faces you go, you go to edit mode select all okay, just select all you have to calculate the faces uh, sorry here recalculate outside uh, video